Welcome back to the channel. When I first started sharing my stories, it was my treasure hunting videos that really took off. Over the years, many of you have joined me in exploring lost history, mysterious places, and the land's hidden past. But in this episode, I want to get back to my roots and focus on my fellow treasure hunters. If you're looking for real places to find gold in Ohio, backed by science and historical data, you're in the right place. I'll be sharing specific hotspot locations where gold can be found, explaining why it's there, and giving you the best techniques for uncovering it yourself. Let's get started. Imagine walking along a quiet Ohio riverbank, the water glistening in the sun as you dip your pan into the gravel and slowly swirl the water. Then, there it is, a tiny flash of gold. It might surprise you to learn that Ohio has hidden gold deposits left behind by glaciers thousands of years ago. But where do you start looking and what are the best locations? That's where we come in. By utilizing free geological data from the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, recent advances in ground penetrating radar, LIDAR mapping, and historical records, we have identified the best locations in Ohio to search for glacial gold. By analyzing glacial outwash deposits, buried river valleys, and ice age landforms, we have pinpointed the top five spots for gold prospecting in the state. If you're ready for an adventure, Grab your gold pan and let's explore these promising locations. First, we have the Maumee River at Defiance, which has thick glacial outwash deposits with gold-bearing sediments. Second, we have Paint Creek at Bainbridge, which features a mix of eskers, outwash, and buried valleys ideal for gold concentration. Third on our list is the Muskingum River in Zanesville, an ancient river system known for transporting gold downstream. Next is the Little Miami River at Miamiville, which is a historically rich area where gold has been found in the past. Lastly, the Cuyahoga River at Monroe Falls has thick glacial deposits and floodplains with excellent potential. These locations were carefully selected based on geological evidence, and best of all, this data is available to anyone. With a little research, a sense of adventure, and a gold pan, you can start your own prospecting journey in Ohio. Let's explore the science, history, and thrill of discovering glacial gold right in our own backyard. The science behind glacial gold in Ohio. Unlike the gold rushes of the West, Ohio's gold isn't found in large nuggets or deep underground mines. Instead, during the Ice Age, massive glaciers carried tiny flakes of gold from Canada and deposited them throughout the state. As these glaciers melted, the gold settled into ancient riverbeds, outwash plains, and buried valleys, hidden beneath layers of sediment, just waiting to be discovered. Many prospectors believe that finding gold is just a game of luck, but the truth is, anyone can find gold with science-backed data. Instead of randomly picking a creek and hoping for the best, we used ground-penetrating radar, LIDAR mapping, drift thickness surveys, and surficial geology databases to locate areas where gold is most likely to concentrate. By identifying glacial outwash deposits, deep river bends, and buried valleys, we can pinpoint locations where heavy gold particles have been naturally sorted and trapped over thousands of years. This means that with some research and free data, you can dramatically increase your chances of success. No more wandering from creek to creek, hoping to stumble upon a lucky spot, now you can head straight to the most promising locations with confidence. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced prospector, understanding the science of gold deposition gives you the edge you need to turn prospecting from guesswork into an exciting, data-driven treasure hunt. Pinpointing Ohio's gold-rich areas. By analyzing data from the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, we focus on key indicators of potential gold deposits, such as glacial outwash deposits, areas where meltwater streams sorted and concentrated gold particles, buried ancient river valleys, old river channels now covered by sediment, which may harbor gold, eskers and cums, geological formations created by glacial activity, known to trap heavy materials like gold. Gold is where you find it, but what if you knew exactly where to look? That's right, we have done the hard work for you, and through this analysis, We've identified five top locations in Ohio with high potential for glacial gold prospecting. These spots aren't random guesses. 
They are carefully selected using scientific mapping, glacial drift thickness studies, and real geological evidence. Whether you're a seasoned prospector or someone just starting their gold hunting journey, these locations will give you the best shot at finding gold. Exact GPS locations can be found in the video description. Here are the top five gold-bearing locations in Ohio. 1. Maumee River at Defiance, Defiance County. Latitude, 41.288232 North. Longitude, negative 84.354851 West. Why here? The Maumee River traverses thick glacial outwash deposits, making it a prime spot for placer gold. Where to look? Focus on sandbars and gravel beds along the river's bends. Irende, Paint Creek at Bainbridge, Ross County. Latitude, 39.230352 degrees north. Longitude, negative 83.22215 west. Why here? This region features a combination of eskers, glacial outwash, and buried valleys, ideal conditions for gold accumulation. Where to look? Explore low-lying floodplains and riverbanks, especially after rainfall. 3. Muskingum River at Zanesville, Muskingum County. Latitude, 39.874394 North. Longitude, minus 82.056921 West. Why here? The Muskingum River flows through ancient glacial pathways, potentially carrying gold downstream. Where to look? Investigate areas near river confluences or sharp bends where heavy materials may settle. Nangu, Little Miami River at Miamiville, Claremont County. Latitude, 39 degrees 209,094 north. Longitude. Negative 84.299635 West. Why here? This area has a history of gold discoveries that date back to the 1800s. Additionally, the Little Miami River serves as a glacial outwash, extending across the northern section of Claremont County, Ohio, and flowing down to the southern part of the county. Where to look? Search gravel deposits at river bends. Cuyahoga River at Monroe Falls, Summit County. Latitude. 41.135939N. Longitude, negative 81.422199W. Why here? The presence of thick glacial deposits and alluvial plains makes this area promising. Where to look? Examine riverbanks and exposed gravel bars, particularly after flooding events. Legal considerations for gold prospecting in Ohio. Before you grab your pan and shovel, it's vital to understand the legal aspects of gold prospecting in Ohio. Private property. Always obtain permission from landowners before prospecting on private land. Public lands. Panning is generally permitted on public lands, provided it is for recreational purposes. The collected gold is of little or no commercial value, and there is no significant environmental impact. However, panning is not allowed in Ohio State forests or within the Cleveland Metro Parks. Permits. Recreational gold panning typically does not require a permit as long as it remains non-commercial and environmentally responsible. For more detailed information, consult the Ohio Department of Natural Resources. Current gold market value. Right now, gold prices have hit a record high. Over $2,855 per ounce. As the economy shifts and inflation rises, people are turning to gold not just for wealth, but for security. That's why gold prospecting is making a major comeback. Hobbyists, treasure hunters, and even casual weekend explorers are heading to rivers and creeks, hoping to cash in. With the right tools and knowledge, you could be part of the next big gold discovery. Getting started with prospecting. Embarking on a gold prospecting journey in Ohio can be rewarding and educational. Here's how to begin. Gather essential tools. A gold pan, classifier, and snuffer bottle are basic necessities. Select promising locations. Use geological maps and the locations we've discussed to choose your spots. Practice panning techniques. Learn the proper methods to separate gold from sediment. 
Respect regulations. Always comply with local laws and ensure you obtain all necessary permissions. Join a community. Connect with local prospecting clubs for support and shared knowledge. Embrace the adventure. Searching for glacial gold in Ohio presents a unique opportunity to connect with the state's geological history while enjoying the great outdoors. Although the chances of striking it rich may be slim, you could still pocket some extra cash. Plus, the experience and knowledge you gain are invaluable. That's it for this episode, and I hope it helps you with your next treasure hunting adventure. Whether you're just starting out or you've been searching for gold for years, these locations and techniques should give you a solid starting point. If you've had success finding gold in Ohio, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. If you enjoy tales of hidden history, lost treasures, and the land's mysteries, be sure to like and subscribe. There's always more to discover. Until next time, happy hunting.